Warning, the following video contains my opinions. Treat them as you will, but understand that I'm not acting as some definitive authority on anything. I have been playing this game for a while, so I'm familiar with some of its nuances. I'm going to try to assemble them into a literate narrative so you understand my take. But I don't think that Raxala is currently findable. I do think it has a physical position in the game somewhere, as Drew Wegger has um, related in his conversations with some of the developers. Um, I think that, that Raxal has been physically placed in the galaxy somewhere, but I think it's been set up in such a way that we're not going to trip over it the way the community tripped over Jack's station. Uh, was it a couple of years ago? And that has in, in part to do with the, the way that you tell narrative story. I agree with Drew Wagner that exposure to the Raxal mythos has to have taken place somewhere in this colored space, illustrated by the power play map. A and likely the initial exposure took place somewhere relatively close to Sol. But I don't think that Raxala is in the bubble. It may have been at one point, it could be, I think there's the, the portable, like Raxala might move around theory, I have no idea, I'm not going to speculate on that. But I do think that the start of this great journey that FDev is talking about is going to happen somewhere in here. I personally think that it's in one of the permit locked systems. Uh, when the fleet carrier update dropped, there was a bug that was introduced that allowed the fleet carriers to purchase exploration data for permit locked systems where they it had previously, I believe, not been possible. And one of the permit locked systems that, that has an unknown permit matches the profile for the Dark Wheel Station, which is a component of the Raxal lore. You, you'll have to read up on that. I'm not going to spend a bunch of time trying to dig into it because I'll probably get specific, find specifics wrong and piss somebody off. So I'm just I'm not going to tread there without more prep time. But I think that Raxal will become findable potentially with Odyssey, though I think in terms of storytelling there's a lot more story, a lot more baggage attached to Raxala that, than that, that you could just throw away. Um, it's This is a multi-decade video game mystery. It's one of the greatest mysteries in video game history. One of the oldest mysteries in video game history. You could call it the ultimate Easter egg. Or, I don't know, call it whatever you want. It doesn't really matter to most people. Um, well, maybe it does matter. I don't know matters a lot to Guru. I've actually helped him do a couple of little Raxala hunts. A while back I helped him uh, sweep the Heart and Soul Nebula over here. Um, he was following some lead that made him think that maybe a clue to Raxala would be somewhere out here. Um, I think I was doing the Soul Nebula, he was doing the Heart Nebula. We didn't manage to get through, or at least I managed to get through part of the Nebula uh, before I had to, to leave and go do something else. But, um, but I've worked with him on that in the past. Uh, once. Haven't really worked with him since. And it's not out of any other reason than he just kind of wanted to work with his own guys on the mystery. So, <coughs> but I, I think it's fun. I like going out and, and doing like grid sweeps with people. I actually wish that, that the galaxy map tool would give us more ability to do coordinated grid searches so that we could all say, okay, we can uh, what I'd like to do is draw a box over an area and then be able to part out the stuff in that box to different people in my wing and say, okay, you guys take this batch and you know, coordinate that way so that we can keep track of who's searched what and not double over on each other's efforts. But that's neither here nor there and a little bit of a digression at this point. I think Odyssey, a big part of Odyssey, uh, because Odyssey is, or the Odyssey is fundamentally a journey. It's one of the oldest uh, fictional stories in human history, and it's fundamentally about a man's path to, well, I guess it, I don't need a literary analysis on this. Uh, one of the big points in Odyssey is that without gods, man is nothing. It's, it's a very um, psychoanalytical story about man's place in the universe, which kind of fits into the whole Raxala mythos, because the galaxy is pretty huge, and then of course the universe is all that much bigger. Um, but all this is to say that I think the Odyssey is going to start the journey. That somewhere in the lore dump that we're going to get on Odyssey at some point, 
we're going to have the opportunity to begin the journey to find Raxla. I don't think we're going to find Raxla during the Odyssey cycle, um, whatever Odyssey season that they're going to have. I think that that's going to be something that comes later. But I think we're going to start the journey and that FDev's going to start drip feeding us more lore on what Raxla is and how the Dark Wheel relates to it and how all of these different groups interact and, and manage with each other. It makes sense that that would take place. It doesn't make a lot of sense to rush this. I don't, and that's why I don't think that we'll find. I don't think that FDev will allow Raxla to become findable during the Odyssey expansion. I think it will come after, maybe a year or two. But we'll be able to get going, and that will allow FDev to incorporate aspects of storytelling behind the mythos since with 30 years of baggage they don't I don't think they want to just throw this out the window and say all right here's your damn story go have fun with it I think that there's going to be a lot of build up and I also think that when we find Raxla it's going to set up a larger call it a larger antagonist to the general elite dangerous narrative because as it stands right now in the game the only real antagonist, the general antagonist to the story in Elite Dangerous is the Thargoids. Which aren't even, we aren't even really sure Thargoid is the name of this species. It's just, I think it was something that, that a pilot back in the old days of Elite saw, or thought he saw, sketched on the side of one of the interceptors that was attacking him. It's like Tharg or something. I think that Raxala is going to tie into the Guardians more because the FDev has spent a lot of time developing the Guardian mythos. I think it's going to tie into the Thargoids. It's going to be something to do with a larger enemy. And this is me speculating just based on storytelling aspects because for a story to remain engaging you have to have a, a certain measure of escalation. Um, threats have to increase because if a threat starts to decrease in a general storytelling narrative then, then it can kind of you, can, you run the risk of entering a lull spot especially with a, a galactic community over on that you can switch from one enemy of equivalent threat to another enemy of equivalent threat but all of these stories have like especially in science fiction a master antagonist concept and a lot of times it's just a concept like star wars it's the dark side of the force it's this opposing, almost ambivalent, negative energy, evil thing that motivates all of the villains. And that may, in some aspects of Star Wars Legends lore, have a consciousness or an embodied consciousness on its own, but that it, it provides a driving force for the story. The dark side motivates many of the villains. It is the, the thing that they tap into in order to get their power. Uh, in The Expanse, the proto-molecule is the major driving force, but it's ancillary to an even bigger threat, this unknown alien entity that wiped out the builders in the Expanse series. Um, it makes total sense for FDev to, to use the same trope, to say that, that okay, Raxel is like the proto-molecule. It's likely an intermediary that's going to bring in a larger villain or, or affect a greater expansion of the lore of Elite Dangerous. If Raxla is a gateway, then... I don't know, maybe we get connected to another galaxy and we have to fight a threat from that galaxy. Maybe the Thargoids didn't wipe the Guardians out, maybe the AI... you know, there's, there's, there's a bunch of directions you can go that are really compelling. But they're predicated on giving the Raxla mythos time to breathe. To bring it in by phases and to add a set of, to, to allow it to develop narrative weight and to marinate in the greater context of the lore of the game. So Odyssey, Odyssey will probably start that journey for us and it will likely require you to take advantage of the new tools because that makes business sense. Um, and I think we're gonna, well, I, it will escalate the narrative in some grand way because all of this, all this stuff taking place in the bubble right now is, is it's petty conflict. It's it's the middling things. It's all the little villains in the expanse that get introduced while they're trying to figure out the proto molecule mystery. And at some point, you you start attacking the the issue directly. Like I, I'm 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 rambling a little bit, but um, that's the thing that I want to 
That's that's basically what I want to say. I don't think Raxel is findable yet. Feel free to look for it. I'm not going to stop you. I think it's fun to, you know, come up with a theory and maybe go out and test it. But I also think you have to be a little realistic about it and not not push things too far out of proportion. So um, I'll catch you guys later.